Hello everyone, this is Art Journaling in Simple Steps, and we're going to talk about handwriting today. A lot of people like to add handwritten passages to their art journals, maybe handwritten words. That's what they like. Uh, I'm, I don't so much. I am one of those people, and most of us are. I don't like the looks of my handwriting. I don't really have a whole lot to say. So I don't often add handwriting to my journal pages, but I do like the way that handwriting looks. So I am trying to add a little bit of handwriting to just a few of my pages, just just to, you know, dip my feet in and get used to it. So if you are one of those people that just don't like the looks of your handwriting, and that's the reason you do not add your handwriting, I would suggest, you know, adding handwriting to a piece of paper, just writing something down, and take a look at it. If you don't like it, then you don't have to add it, but you could rip this out and glue it in, rip it up into different um, bits, and just glue a little portion of it so that you're not actually looking at what you have written. If that's, you know, you just want the looks of handwriting in. One of the things that make other people's handwriting look really good is maybe not so much that they're completely neat and tidy with their writing, but what really makes writing look good is if you're consistent, if it looks the same. I don't like my handwriting, and this is just a quote from my Pinterest board, and I just wrote it out. There's mistakes. I've spelled things wrong. I was doing it pretty quickly, so I went ahead and just, you know, just, I went with it. I left the mistakes. It's not, you know, and it's fine. It looks just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So I can rip this out and tear it up or use the whole thing. I don't want this part because it doesn't have anything on it. But if I wanted just a little bit of handwriting, a little bit more, that's a nice piece. I might just add this to a page. With a little bit of glue. All I need to do is add it. If you are one of those people that really just dislikes the way your handwriting looks, I'm going to put it sideways just so it's harder to read. Messy handwriting looks pretty good too. That went over the edge, so I'm just going to put that up there. I've got some examples here. But if you are one of those writers like Sabrina Ward Harrison, I love the way it looks when she writes. It is messy. It's imperfect. It's almost like it's scribbled. I enjoy this kind of writing. I wish I could do this. I have tried to um, kind of mimic this a little bit, and I wasn't happy with it. Um, I'm going to try it again, but it's consistent. It's what makes it look like it was meant to be that way. So it looks like it's supposed to be there, just exactly the way it looks. I absolutely love it. And that's how she writes in her journals. It's all messy. It's all almost childlike. And it is fabulous. So having messy writing can be a benefit um, when you're trying to do something like that. 
So mine's not quite so messy, but mine's consistent. And I have written on some magazine images. I've written on envelope pattern words. Just follow your bliss. Um, I've written on some painted paper. I've written in a square just going around. Not necessarily, and I kind of repeated uh, one of the quotes that I found because I couldn't fill up the page, and I just kept going round and round and round until I filled up the page. It's not really meant to be read. It is just more for the visual effect of writing. Of course, you can write your journaling on your page if you want to read it later. You can. You know, just use handwriting any way you want to do it. And here is another quote written on, this is a magazine cover, um, on a picture. It doesn't have to be straight lines. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be anything at all. I like to use quotes. I like to use movie dialogue. Um, passages from books, my favorite books, song lyrics. If you don't have a whole lot to say, but want to use a little bit of handwriting, go on Google, you know, your favorite song. Start writing the the lyrics out. You can write it on anything and then glue it to your pages, or you can just start writing in the book however you want to do it. I was going to write something in here. I'm going to be brave and just go for it. I'm going to write a little quote that I found on Pinterest. What good are wings? without the courage to fly. Just a kind of a scribble there. You can hardly see it, but it's there. Fun stuff. It doesn't have to be anything serious. You can write anything. If you want to write about your day, something that happened, something that you'd like to remember, that's what journaling is all about. Go for it. I was going to try to find some place to, to add that, and it kind of looks interesting here. There's a straight edge here. I am just going to glue it right there in my book. So I have a couple of places that has some handwriting. All right. And I can get used to the way it looks. I don't have to worry. You know, I can cover it up if it really distracts me way too much, but... Now I've got some writing in my art journal. Give it a try. Get used to the way your writing looks. Um, messy is good. I love the way messy writing looks. If you want to practice on a different piece to make sure it's exactly the way you want it to look, um, that's good too. And here's another thing that I could probably try to find a space in the book. Let's see if I can find a place to put this. I have some scribbles that I'm not real fond of. Let me see if I can find them. I'll just glue this on top. There's some other scribbles I really didn't like. Here. 
but I don't really like the green with it. I like the green with this one. And I'm actually going to rip the straight edges off. Just like that. And I'm going to glue that onto the page. I don't necessarily have to keep it. I can put something on top of it, more paint, or anything else. This is just an experiment. This is just getting used to art journaling. It's trying out some new things. You don't have to like all these steps. This is just one of those, let's see what happens. Let's see if I like that process. Let's see. Let's, you know what? I did this one and I probably should go ahead and glue it into this book too. Is it, is it about the right size? I can just pop it in. I think I've got a blank page somewhere. I'm not covering something else up. Let me just glue this one in too. There is my blank page. I want the horse to look into the page and this is straight here anyway, so that's what I need. There we go. Should be using my gluing magazine. Oh well. The glue on there. And just position it on the straight edge, just with the straight edge. And just glue it in. Fun stuff. Nothing to be afraid about. And I've got quite a few, quite a bit of writing in this, this signature. I might have to add some more writing to some of these other ones. Um, these, these signatures are just to show you how adding more and more layers on top of other layers and then adding layers on top of those layers, it's going to show you how these simple steps really start to add up and start to make some interesting pages doing extremely simple stuff nothing complicated if you break it down into little simple steps do them over and over again go back to steps that you like cover up steps that you don't um they're going to end up being very interesting and I hope you will enjoy your pages at the end of a bunch of steps. Add some handwriting. Just give it a try. A little bit of courage. Thanks for watching.